everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for a crochet puff flower. Now you can make them as a crochet sunflower or as a crochet daisy flower or any other flower of your choice. You just have to play with the colors. It's a very simple, easy and a beginner friendly pattern and I really hope you will like it. So let's see the materials first and then we will head over to the pattern. Now for this pattern here, you can use any type yarn or any weight yarn. I have used 100% acrylic yarn. It's a medium four weight yarn. And with that, I have used a 4 mm crochet hook. Usually we use a 5 mm for a medium four weight yarn, but I wanted the stitches to be a little bit tighter. So that's why I have used a smaller hook size. Apart from that, you would require a darning needle and a pair of scissors. So these are the supplies that you would require. Now, if you're ready, we can get started. So we'll start this pattern by making a slip knot first. So make your slip knot. And once you have your slip knot, we will make five chain stitches. Okay, so chain five. One, two, three, four and five. Okay, so here I have got my five chain stitch. Next, put a slip stitch into the very first chain stitch. So I'm going to make a slip stitch. So insert your hook and pull your yarn through both the loops. So that will create your slip stitch and you get a small circle. Now round one, we'll be working inside the circle. So for round one, we are going to put 12 single crochet. So before that, you make just one chain stitch, chain one, and then put 12 single crochet. So insert your hook pull up a loop you have two loops on your hook yarn over pull through both this is my first single crochet again I'll make my second one this is two like that I'm going to make a total of 12 single crochet for round one so here is four five now if you uh, when you do this uh, maybe there might be a shortage of space to put all the 12 single crochet in that case once you do a few stitches just push it to one side so that you are able to do uh, able to put all the 12 single crochets okay so i'll just give this a count and check if i have got 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 uh, this was my chain one so just ignore that i'll put one more okay so here I have got my 12 single crochet. We have the starting chain one that is just to get a height. So now in order to finish off round one, just slip stitch into the first single crochet. So this here is my first single crochet of this round. I'm just going to slip stitch like this. So that completes round one. Now, before we move on to round two, I'm just going to pull on this end so as to reduce the center gap. So we just pull on this end so that the center gap is reduced. Okay. Now, once you do that, we'll start round two. And round two, we are going to start with four chain stitch. So chain four, one, two, three, and four. Now, for round one, we have a total of 12 single crochet and round two we are going to make six petals so we'll use two stitches two single crochet to make one petal so like that we can get a total of six petals so two single crochet will be used for one petal okay now once you make chain four you can just yarn over insert your hook into the very first stitch and then pull up a loop and when you pull it up try to pull it up as high as your chain four okay now you yarn over and pull your yarn through the first two loops only like this. We we'll pull up two more times. So yarn over, insert your hook through the same stitch and again pull up a loop. Pull it up a bit higher. You again yarn over and pull through the first two loops only like this. We'll do one last time. So yarn over, insert your hook through the same stitch and pull up a loop. And again, yarn over and pull through the first two loops only like this. You have a total of four loops on your hook. Keep it like that. Now we are going to yarn over and pull our yarn out 
through the second stitch three times okay so again yarn over into your next stitch the second stitch just insert your hook and pull up a loop pull it up higher yarn over and pull through the first two loops only one and two this is the first pull we have to do three times a total of three times one is done again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over again pull through the first two loops only so this was the second pull we'll do once more so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop like this yarn over pull through the first two loops only now if you count we have one two three four five six seven we have a total of seven loops on our hook we are going to yarn over and pull through the first six loops only not the very last one so just yarn over and pull through all the six loops the first six loops you can do it one by one or you can do it in one go just don't pull it through the very last loop okay you have two loops left you yarn over and pull through the last two loops like this okay next make three chain stitch one two three and then you just go ahead and slip stitch into the second stitch so we have first stitch and second stitch just find the second stitch the stitch which was last worked go there and complete it with a slip stitch so insert your hook and pull your yarn through here and also the loop that is there on your hook so finish it off with a slip stitch so that here completes your first petal and we are going to repeat this five more times okay so what we'll do is we will be pulling up the loop from the first stitch three times we'll pull up the loop three times from the second stitch so using the next two stitches we are going to do the next petal so every petal from here on we'll start with chain four one two three four then yarn over insert your hook through the first stitch and pull up a loop pull it up higher as high as you can go then yarn over pull through the first two loops only this is the first pull yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop this will be your second pull again yarn over pull through the first two loops only one more time yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop and pull through the first two loops only okay so we have pulled the loop three times from the first stitch we are going to pull up the loop three times from the second stitch so again yarn over come to your second stitch insert your hook and pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops only once more yarn over insert your hook through the second stitch itself and pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops only one last time yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop pull it higher yarn over pull through the first two loops only so here also we have pulled the loop three times from the second stitch you will have a total of seven loops you have to yarn over and pull through the first six loops only so we'll do that yarn over pull through the first six loops if you can do it in one go or you can do it st stitch by stitch also okay so we have two loops left yarn over and pull through the last two loops like this once this is done make three chain stitch chain three one two three and then slip stitch into the second stitch okay so just find your second stitch of the petal and then slip stitch like this so that completes your second petal so like this i'm just going to repeat four more times so that we get six petals so what we'll do is we'll start with four chain stitch one two three four yarn over pull your yarn through the first stitch three times and again pull the first two loops only then three times from the second uh, stitch as well and then you yarn over and pull to the first six loops and then yarn over to the last three loops so here again i have taken out the yarn through the three times from the first stitch i'm just going to take out the yarn three times from the second stitch as well so i'm just doing it a little bit faster but just pause it and just repeat the same pattern that we have done okay so here also i have pulled it up three times yarn over pull to the first six loops yarn over pull to the last two loops 
chain 3 1 2 3 and slip stitch into the second stitch so just repeat this till i have a total of six petals now if you find it it is coming forward just poke your finger through it and push it backward anyway i'll just complete three more uh, petals so here i'm working on the very last stitch i have the seven loops on my hook so i'm just going to yarn over pull through the first six loops i have two loops left i'll again yarn over and pull through the last two loops once this is done, make three chain stitch, one, two, three, and then go ahead and slip stitch into the second stitch like this. All right. So that will complete your sixth petal or the last petal. At this point, once you do the slip stitch, I'm just going to make one chain, chain stitch, and then I'm going to pull out the yarn. I'm just going to cut this off like this. Okay. So that completes our flower here. So if you see our puff stitch flower is done. Now we'll make the center part. But before that we'll just hide in all the loose ends. So this is the tail end that we have just now cut. I'm just going to use a darning needle to stitch this up first. Okay so if you see we had cut it here. I'm going to directly go into the chain one that i had made so we had started with four chain stitch so this is chain one i'm going to go there directly this is the cut part go through the first chain one so that it just attaches itself the petals both attach itself and then i can hide in the tail so just go through a couple of stitches okay and a few more stitches you can go back and forth just to be sure that it is well hidden okay and again you can go back similarly you can hide in this tail and also this has already been weaved in when we were working the single crochets but just so that we are sure about it i'm just going to hide in this tail also So there, this is done. If you want, you can use it just like this. Let's make the middle part. So for that, I'm going to take my white color yarn. So here I have got my white color yarn and I'm going to start with a slip knot and then make four chain stitches. So chain four, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so here I've got my four chain stitch. I'm going to yarn over insert my hook into the very first chain stitch and pull up a loop like this try to pull it up as high as you can this is the first pull i'm not going to pull through first two loops just keep it like this again yarn over insert your hook and pull up a loop this will be the second pull again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop the third pull this is my fourth pull fifth one sixth one and one more yarn over insert your hook and pull up a loop now i'm going to stop at seven pulls if you want you can go up till eight or ten uh, the more uh, pulls that you do the puffier your stitch will be so i'm just stopping at seven because i'm not able to do it anymore so if you can go ahead till ten and once you do that, you just yarn over and pull through all the loops except the last one. So yarn over and pull your yarn through all the loops except the last. You have two loops left. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops as well. And make chain two. One and two. And at this point, you can cut your yarn. So once you make chain two, cut your yarn. And this here is your center puff stitch. And we will be attaching this to the flower. So you can take your flower here. And with the help of the hook, I'm just going to pull on the two yarn ends. This is one. And here, I'll take the next end out like this. 
and you can just double knot it now if you want you can hide in the white yarn also or you can use the two white yarn ends to stitch this up uh, to any garment that you want okay so there are flower A's ready so yeah that was a tutorial on how to do this puff stitch flower i hope you liked it now as i said earlier you can play around with the colors of the flower and make it as a daisy flower or as a sunflower so yeah that was it i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed making this flower pattern now if you liked it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing if you're looking for other flower patterns you can find the link in the description box as well as on the end screen i have put a playlist link so that's it for today's tutorial see you in another video until then bye bye thank you for watching